Hi, my name is Chrissy and welcome to my channel, Chrissy's Walking Beauty. So today we are going to do this look, you guys. Oh my goodness, the purple, the green, the shimmer, the sparkly goodness that is going on on my lid, you guys. I'm in love with it. I'm like so hyped, so excited. Do you see it? <laughs> Do you see it? And of course, the focal point in this tutorial is the Jackie Anna palette. You guys, I went in. When I tell you I went in on these colors, I done went in. Okay. So the primary colors that I used in this particular video is Supreme and Pinker and Big Wig. Big Wig, ooh. And you know what? I low-key meant to use Shookington, but it just, I, I don't think I ever got around to it because I was just so like hyped on where this had went. And now that I think about it, I, you know what? Okay, you know what? No, I gotta walk away like, Drop the brush, Chrissy. Drop the brush. Because I could be at this all day. All right, you guys. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, stay tuned. All right, you guys. So I'm over here picking out my fro, drinking my tea, having a good old time about to lay this work down. I prime my eye and I have gone into Supreme. Y'all. <laughs> First off. I like doing these looks have given me eyes for like ideas for like mad simple looks. I feel like this palette, you know, you can go in, you can go in, but I feel like the whole simple looks have made, I'm, I might've been sleeping on. So FYI to get an idea of what kind of looks I'm gonna be trying to do. But whatever the case may be, I'm just building that color up all over my lid. I feel like that's the best course of action right now. And now I'm blending that out. And yes, my brows are done now. I had some technical difficulties and then I realized, son, I need to do my brows or this ain't gonna come out right. So I did my brows and now I'm just building that color up even more in that transitional area and you know building now i'm going into pinker because i need it to just be a little bit pinker okay <laughs> and i took that in the crease and now i'm going into big wig and y'all i mean i i feel like this color is so freaking fire yo like this and credit are like my favorite like i'm gonna start using this as a trend like the crease color and like using it for its intensity because this color is no joke it's not a game it is intense i love the way they the shadows actually kind of melt into one another and how they're blending i don't know i'm loving it so now i'm just really patting that in, concentrating it, and getting it as deep as possible, all the while blending out them edges. And now I'm taking it all over my lid because I realized that with the look that I wanted to do, it, it, it would just only be increased in its flyness if it was all over my lid, you know? So that's what happened. And now I am taking this thin brush and I'm trying to make a little cut crease, but I didn't want a full on cut crease. Just, you know, a simple line that gave me more trouble than what it was worth. But <laughs> a simple line, I'm actually gonna go into my sugar pill palette and get a green. FYI, because this is where I'm going with this. Um, and I'm just gonna pat that in and try to build up the color. It did not want to build. I need, you know what, y'all? I am buying me a new primer. 
because this primer is giving up on me. It's trying. It's trying to hold on. It's trying to keep up the good, the good life. But you know, it's struggling. So okay, so you guys, I got all that on now, and now I'm carving out this shape with this mixing medium that I have, and I'm just gonna carve out the shape that I want with this glitter. And now I'm just taking the glitter and patting it on. And the crazy thing is, and I, this mixing medium is from NYX. And I mean, you guys, it holds down the glitter game. Like, it's not a joke. And yeah, so I'm just patting that on, concentrating it. And now I'm gonna go back in the big wig and just line that out a little bit more, clean that up. And now I'm taking big wig under the eye. And I don't know why I did this twice because when I ended up doing my face, um, I always go back in with that color or the under eye color. But yeah, so I took this cream color from NYX, put it in my waterline, and now I'm tapping that green from my sugar pill palette into my waterline so I can get that green pop of color. And now I'm going into the one, the only, the trust issues. I told you guys in my previous video, I'm in love with that color. And voila, my face is done, okay? And I'm making this liner, and I want you guys to take note of this liner game. So, because there is glitter on my eye and I'm using a cream liner, especially, I guess, because I'm using a cream liner, I only did the liner on the outer area and, you know, made it pop. And you guys, this is the look. I really enjoyed doing this. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me do it. If you guys are gonna try this out, hit me on the gram, okay? All the information's in the description bar. All right, you guys, so this is the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and you know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it with the hair, the eyes, the skin. It's, it's going down. <laughs> All right, you guys. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. All right, and I will see you soon.